December 1992. The first match of the festive month gave little to cheer for the Shea fans who on a cold wet Tuesday night saw their favourites thumped 4-0 by Bradford City in the Autograss Trophy, the Bantams including ex-town keeper Phil Whitehead in their lineup. By this time, as if financial worries were not enough, town were deep in an injury crisis with just 13 recognised senior players available for the next match, at home to promotion chasing Barnet. Although town did manage to make up a decent team on the day, managerless Barnet, who had just sacked Barry Fry earlier in the week, still managed to take all three points of a 2-1 victory, both goals being scored by the ex-Luton town star Brian Steen. Town had actually opened the scoring and had a chance to draw level, being awarded a penalty with just two minutes left, but Paul Wilson blazed over, denying Town a vital point. By the following Wednesday, Town, who had gathered just two points from a possible 18, were also without a manager. After just 14 months in charge, John McGrath resigned his position in what was reported as an amicable decision. Whatever the true facts behind his departure, the inescapable fact that there was Town were now chest high in crisis. Within days, Town's board had appointed physio Mick Rathbone as caretaker manager, his first match in charge being the Auto Glass Trophy game away to Huddersfield Town. Mick's debut as manager was not a happy one as the, town, the Terriers outclassed Town to win 5-0, Rathbone's after-match comments not making pretty reading. A much improved display of the following game at home to fellow strugglers Berry still failed to produce the desired result, Town going down to a solitary Shakers goal scored by none over scored by none other than Kevin Hume. Town had gone into the game minus the services of skipper Russell Bradley, who had fractured an ankle the previous game, but had secured the services of Michael Williams from Sheffield Wednesday on a month's loan, and Linton Brown, a non-contract player from HFS Loan League, Loans League from Geisley. Christmas Day came and went, and Town went into the last week of 1992 without a win in 10 matches. A statistic stretched to 12 after draws at home to Doncaster Rovers, 2-2 and away at York City, which was 1-1. The dismal sequence of results left Town facing the new year with an uphill struggle, although somewhat surprisingly their league position had only dropped by one over the month, leaving them starting the new year in 18th place. <laughs>